Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at uh, how to do keyword research for local business websites uh, before you're starting SEO, which is the most important thing if you're a local business owner. Also, you need to know this one, to know the keywords before even you do and talk to an SEO consultant or if you're trying to get SEO. Even if you're a SEO consultant and if a local business owner came at you with a website, they say they are a saloon and they, they want to know the keywords. Like you got to tell them the viable keywords with the numbers, what would work on for their business to get customers because end of the day, what it comes down to is getting customers. To get customers with local business SEO, you need to rank for the keywords where the target audience, the target customer base is searching on Google in your market right so if you're a saloon ideally what the people will be looking for saloon in that particular location so if it's local SEO just say local SEO I would break it down for London even into Canary Wharf which is a area in London so it could be a saloon in Canary Wharf right so you got to know the numbers and that's the pretty much the approach the very practicality um, about uh, keyword research it's not a tough thing I have an in-depth uh, thing about uh, keyword research if you get the SEO blueprint which is covering chapter after chapter what is keyword research we're sh showing data into data but in the local SEO aspect I want to show with you guys uh, about the keyword research and uh, how, how you can how you can do it in the most practical manner and quickly to come into conclusions because that's how I do it when a client comes or else if a client comes for a meeting with the website and then and there how I would uh, run the keyword research using tools like SEO Russia I'm going to show you in this video if you are actually doing for your website or if you're doing for your client I would say make a list of import relevant terms based on the niche right so if it is uh, just say a locksmith so it should be locksmith London if it is London or if it's in particular city locksmiths near me locksmith in a different sub areas in a particular city right so a lot of these terms you can look it and list it down an excel sheet so uh, you can easily start doing the starting doing the keyword research what I would do after listing those keywords I will go to Google and then uh, I will search for them and to see if the answer are popping up just say locksmith if you're a locksmith website locksmith uh, locksmith London right so I would say for locksmith Canary Wharf right because it's very local uh, right now when I'm doing this course I'm based in Canary Wharf in London so I want to really go dig deep into local and then to see just say if a locksmith in Canary Wharf came to talk to me and he's my client I would uh, I would search for locksmith can revolve to see see the ads popping up bam like this is a money term so I'll browse through I know for certainly this is a keyword right and I will search for this one and this is one of our clients as well and uh, which is lovely right and I work with them for, for a long back so you can see those uh, keywords are popping up and one thing I would say is like just say the peanut, the top term they would want to go for is locksmith London right see what would happen when I search that ads pops up I know certainly but I will actually you see what I'm going to do in a little bit yeah and then what I will see I will see this just these are the supportive terms which I'm which I'm mentioning right so I will try to put those terms as well on uh, which is uh, popping up below the SERP results because Google suggests people who are searching for these terms this is also searching they're searching for and then very easy these eight searches are what is I, I mentioned I'll, I'll mention on the uh, next few videos when I'm doing on page SEO when you are you need to know these keywords if you're writing the page for home page for locksmith London if you include terms like ups up to you to go after cheap but people are looking for that 24 7 locksmith London emergency locksmith service locksmith prices so a terminology would be when writing the current in our locksmith prices are cheaper than anybody else so you cover both two terms and you have a chances to rank for both two terms when a person's searching from in London right so central London London bridge is pretty thing right motorcycle locksmith the more locksmith that come in a motorcycle locksmith South London so you get those terms and then you put it on a Excel sheet and you get an idea then what you can do I will really tell if you're a SEO consultant or as a local business owner try to get a free account even on SEM rush to do a little bit of keyword research if you get the get the top terms idea I'll, I'll take this term and I'll go to a SEM rush and then I will literally uh, 
drop it here like this locksmith london right so i get to see how many searches are there i know it's a money term so i really approach like bam this is a good keyword as well as i got all these supportive terms i will show it to my client so if it's a business owner local business owner you're doing local business consultancy i will present it these are your best terms right these are your good terms that you need to go after and if you're a locksmith local business owner you know these are the terms that you need to optimize your locksmith to website same way any other niche you are going to go after just say you're a furniture provider all those things right you can easily drop the terms in a single rush and get the keyword analysis this morning i um I actually went about make money online that's a different industry i would say right so locksmith is a one keyword then say cleaning uh, cleaning services london right so so if you're building a local business website around cleaning services when you search for this term you see how many keywords are there and you see all the supportive terms which comes after that you need to put on your web page and the next few videos i'm going to show you guys about how to do uh, one page seo and to get about real understanding about keyword research to really dig deep right i would say you guys get the seo blueprint which covers from the fundamental about seo uh, all those uh, uh, keyword research deep articles uh, i've got uh, one of our consultants uh, suitcase uh, did that in detail with the uh, about keyword research which covers some step by step using different uh, softwares to do keyword research so if you really think you want in-depth knowledge about keyword research you should uh, get the seo blueprint which will learn you all those things about the keyword research but a very practical one what is you list the keywords as i showed you and then you search it on the google box identify those terms put it on the excel sheet because you need to those terms to cover up on a web page and then use the cb rush easy tool right like it's about making it easy right so use that tool and if you really don't have time you go to google, google keyword planner you can you can go to google keyword planner right i would say and then I'll show you quickly about going to Keyword Planner here. Sign in. You can just sign in from your Gmail if you uh, if you can you can sign in from your Google account to a Google uh, Keyword Planner. And then see what I'm gonna do, right? So if you're just a local business owner in United Kingdom, I would say uh, you need to uh, come here. Why they have really changed it really a lot settings keyword plan why not just come in keyword tool I would not even want to use keyword planner sometime you know it takes time if you're really really free you want to use it you can use it but like uh, I'll most probably go for my uh, SM rush which is uh, which is pretty easy for me to use like so now I will say locksmith London right so you search for that get started you will see the numbers on here right you see it gives an act it gives like 1k to 10k but on SM rush you saw how much we saw right we saw around 3600 searches but this one also give you a good idea what are the good terms when you search it you get locksmith london locksmith name emerges locksmith london this is it you get those keywords and the next few videos i'm going to show you how to do the on page seo and you're going to know you're going to want these keywords so make sure when you're doing the keyword research you put it on an excel sheet and be ready to uh, do what i'm about to show you on the next few videos and if you have any questions about keyword research come to the seo consultants facebook group or as a local business seo blueprint facebook group if you are a purchased member and then uh, ask me any questions but to dig deep and learn everything a to z about keyword research much into detail if you really want you should get the seo blueprint which covers into detail but what i showed you is pretty much the straightforward way how to do keyword research for a local business website and then you use this knowledge completely make sure you practice it you select like a tool like a simrush which is really good easy tool right and then you can play around get the numbers easy you get the cp cpc cost per click if you're going after google uh, adwords all this to get a good understanding before even you start is it a viable keyword right so uh, more of course cpc that means it's uh, pretty much a money marker 
and then as a local business this is how you even decide before you even start a local business website local business literally right keyword research is where you get started and you got to master keyword research so you can really go about uh, uh, build a business that's going to one day help you make money so make sure you come to the next video and start using those keywords and doing the on page seo